that could be very problematic for him. He should be able to like dodge Gust, though. I, I, I would give him that much credit. So we'll see the lanes, how they work. A double Earth Spike is set up for them, and they might just turn it around here for the first blood. One more right click is needed. Ice 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 manning up a little bit too hard. He'll be the first blood as he gets greedy for AO's Rubik. Oh, 10 8 here can bring. We're going to see perhaps a dive. The illusions are here to tank up the tower shots, but it's actually going to be the flank to gank down bottom that we're going to actually keep our eyes on here. It looks like there might be dual action. Yeah, Slark's going to take some hits, but Drow is completely caught out here. Lifted back. He's going to take so many right clicks. The gust will only delay the inevitable Dive kill. Top. Up top, we do see the dive. Demons hiding in the trees. Slark doing the same. They will not get vision of him. But they know he's still in there. They absolutely know. He's going to have to pounce further into the forest. Demon's getting caught out. He'll distract them. He'll move off to the east. And he will probably go down here. Yeah, the magical nukes fly through. That finishes him off. And meanwhile, Slark having fun with FY. It is an interesting duel, duel to be sure. But FY will go down without even popping the hex. So... Getting a little bit too big for their britches here. Vichy does speed it doesn't reduce his speed once he gets to this point of four wex orbs. And Jixing here, Invis, maybe looking for a rush snipe. Radiance top tower is under attack. This could be pretty interesting. I wonder if they realize that. Oh, they're gonna go in. Echoes. There's gonna be a Fisher. There's gonna be Enchant Totem. Nice jump here. Isis has will get to the high ground though. And Zove is very low mana and HP. Even with that ultimate, he's in retreat. And Jixing just melding here in the river. We're gonna see their Shaker go down. And Jixing go on the run. He does have that blink dagger. He should be all right. But Ice Ice Ice. Oh, he does get a right click on him, and now they catch him with the tornado. So they're gonna silence him. They're gonna lock him down. Soul Assumption not gonna be enough, but the Urn of Shadows will take him down ever so slowly, and the dust comes out just in case. Now Zob caught out. Soul Assumption gonna do some damage, but it's actually the Demon's Light Strike Ray that's doing some good hits here. Oh, nice Grave Chill, locking him in the EMP. Triple kill for Fenrir, and it's such an extended engagement. We're gonna see another death. The Rubik coming in doesn't even get the chance to spell steal. It's an ultra kill for these familiars. These familiars are so damn strong with the drought aura. Like, about 100 uh, physical DPS. So you better stack up some armor. You better get yourself a Ghost Scepter because you're going to have some problems here. Vici Gaming go again on the hunt here. And uh, it is going to be a steal of the EMP. So maybe that could go the other way onto Super. He's going to trade hits here, kill off the Earthshaker. And Zob won't be finishing him off. Oh, the last right click comes in. The Drums of Endurance gives him the, uh, the distance. But how? Oh my gosh, one more hit onto Ao would kill him off. But he dies onto the tower here. Now we see Zob cleaning up the Aegis. And it's got to be the Familiars to do some work here. This is going to be a double familiar stun, it looks like, coming in. And it's going to be too late to save the Drow Ranger's life. So, fight recap. Legit. And she goes for the triple right fan build, which I'm a big fan of. So, a lot of stats coming in. Familiars, obviously, like I, I was saying, there's a lot of good math on that. But we're seeing Earth Spike, we're seeing Tornado EMP. EMP versus EMP! Everybody losing mana. But Jixing's still in the refraction. They get the, the coil. And they bring him down. Now we're going to see Echo Slam onto two. Soul Assumption from Fenrir is going to hit onto the Earthshaker. But not sure if he gets the kill just yet. FY will finish him off. And now they got to deal with Zove. He's got his ultimate, but they get the Gust. He won't be able to Shadow Dance away. And it turns into a three for one. They go for the tower next. The Familiars. Though, so the tower is not actually falling just yet. They don't do anything without the door, and Fenrir is too far forward. Missed communication, missed micro, and Fenrir will fall. The familiars will die, and that is actually going to be the end of the push, I believe. One more right click. So hard on killing Visage, killing his familiars. They didn't actually stop the tower from falling, even though that thing hit for about 10 damage on its last hit. So, um, yeah, Orchid gonna be coming out for Super's Invoker. A lot of gold on the field for Vichy, but FY, it looks like the Invis Rune will not be enough to keep him alive as the double sentry drops down. So, again, a lot of gold coming in from all these towers. What do they make of it? They get the, the Mantis style up. Oh, how? Gets the evasion and the armor, and yeah, there's no way Slark goes for that one. Dream Coil could come out here. Waning Rift, Dream Coil onto two. Zove and Demons locked in. They first go for negative 10 armor onto Ao. He was sitting at actually negative 5 right there. Thanks to his Tranquil Boots, I believe. But, I mean, it goes through BKB. I just find that pretty ridiculous. I think if the I think the item's balanced if it doesn't go through BKB, but since it does, I'm like, holy crap, this is just ridiculous. We're gonna see Zove jump in here onto How. 
He's got the bonus armor, he's got the bonus evasion, they're gonna tank him up, and they're gonna go in with the double earth spike, double tornado, easy cleanup here. And now the familiars are alive and well to go for the racks. Here we go, level 2 familiars, Drow Aura providing 53, and they're gonna go in to finish this off here, the racks dropping very, very quickly. And that's going to be one melee racks down, one range racks down. 23 minutes into the game, they've got uh, one lane advantage, and they're going to look to rotate bottom. Except are going to be coming out for Fenrir pretty soon too. 1,000 gold? Not even. He's got it on the courier. He's got it on the way. We're going to see three familiars with the next resummon in 40 seconds. Dyer's bottom barracks so, are under we're going to see FY with his Blink Dagger and Glimmer Cape playing around a little bit more, trying to find his opportunity. And now the mechanism makes sense. Now that Guardian Greaves is online, Puck is a much stronger hero because he has a lot more mana to work with, but it is a two-boot strat. That's the only thing, is he's got two sets of boots. Oh well. We're going to see a uh, jump in from the Slark. He's going to get caught out. Nice EMP. Going back the other way, but oh man, it's still going to be AO caught out in a bad position here. Waning Rift or not, that's a melee spell and you're a very squishy hero. Ow, taking a lot of damage here. No Aegis on him, so he doesn't have to fall back, but they still do enough damage to right-click him down. And they block the pounce so they can't get to the drow. Zob will go down. TA's next on the menu. Buybacks from everybody. But look at the net worth right now. All five members of Vichy Gaming are top of the net worth. Earthshaker tries to disrupt that theory with a big Echo Slam. Does take down the puck, but that's all. FY almost killed off by the TA. She wants at least tough. She wants fifth place on the net worth graph, but it doesn't look like FY will give it away. He's actually glimmering forward. He glimmer blinks forward and goes in for the Earth Spike and the Mana Drain. They punish him with a Fade Bolt, and he goes down. So, I think I should I spot back. I'm pretty sure, yeah. There's that penalty, but there's also the GG. They have just run a train on uh, Dream Gaming here in game number two. Still, they held out better than Tong Fu. Tong Fu only lasted 13 minutes. Uh, here we see Dream Gaming at least lasting 24, but still a very effective Drow vs. Strat. Old meta, best meta. And with the buffs to these heroes, it's just incredible. So, that's gonna round it out for the. First series of today for I League, Vici Gaming versus Dream Gaming. You see, the Agonim Scepter was finally picked up by the Vista.